Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 200 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania where I live, where I work, where I knit and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is Saturday, February 24th, 2024 and it's a gorgeous bright sunny blue sky kind of day out there. No idea if it's warm or cold. I haven't been outside and I have no intention of going there. <laughs> so, I'm spending the day indoors today. I have socks to work on and some grading to do. So how is everyone? So it's been a busy week. I'll tell you about, I think I'm going to quit going to the doctors and get things checked because I've come across two little, not really, hurdles. I'll tell you about that at the towards the end. We'll talk about the knitting stuff first. So we're well into the qualifying round of Sock Madness 18. And I'm having fun with this first pair of socks, the qualifying round. I've made some progress. I was hoping I'd have them done for today, the pair. But I'm at about a whole and a half. Well, more than a whole and a half. So, I'll show you the completed one first. So, when I, you saw me last week, where's my, there's my marker. I was way up here. I had just done the cuff and just a teeny bit. So, I've got one sock complete. And it looks, it looks wonky because it's, it won't fit my foot. I, I knit this one to the minimum specifications for Sock Madness and it won't fit my size 10, size 11 foot, closer to a size 11 foot. It's not going to fit me and I'm okay with that because it's going to go in the gift basket. But here's what it looks like. I love these little cable -y details here. The white and pink ones. The blue ones look neat, but they were a pain in the us to do. <laughs> it was like wrestling with an octopus, almost an octopus. I, there is, for the first half, there were two, four, six strands of yarn on the go all the time. That was a lot. There was a lot of wrestling. There's quite a bit of untangling that needed to be done. But I got one done. So I'll kind of rotate it a little bit so you can kind of see the... So the blue on mine was done with the kind of an intarsia kind of technique. And that was the the kind of do I want to say tedious? Not quite. That was the part that was the, the more complicated, more complex part was getting this guy done on the front and down the back of the sock. Oh, I didn't tell you the name of this, did I? Yeah. This is called Hydra Scales and it is by Wyvern Knits. W-Y-V-E-R-N Knits. And it's a really pretty pattern. I really like it. I love the way it looks. I'll have to find out who, figure out who I'm going to give this to. Because it is, these, these blockers are the large, so they fit a woman's large to man size sock. But there they are, the first sock. The ends are not woven in yet. I will do that once the second one is finished. And I have submitted this, this sock, or this, the pair. So the second one is, I'm on the way now to moving down the foot. The heel turn, I just finished that before I started filming. So I just finished doing the heel flap. The expansions on the heel flap and the heel turn just um, a few minutes ago I finished that up and I'm on the first round 
going through back to the, the main colors. The extra two, two threads are, are in here. I like clipping them. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. I clip them on these butterfly clips or bulldog clips or whatever you call these things and just let them dangle. They will be dangling through inside the sock once I, I get back to knitting on them. But it's a little quicker and easier to do now that the first round of the the third or the the third color is done on this the back half of the sock. So it's, the yarn is snipped back here, and I only have a total of four yarns or four strands to work with now. But this is a fun. I'm enjoying it. I really am enjoying it. I'm getting into the rhythm of it. The second sock is going much faster as is I guess usually the case for doing a lot of knitting stuff if you're doing them two separate socks. But I did, I prefer doing my socks either two at a time or two at a time in tandem. But the thought of doing these in tandem because typically when I do my socks in tandem, I will take the yarn for one sock from the inside of the cake, one from the outside of the cake. So I just flip the cake back and forth and work it that way. But the thought of having four strands of blue on each sock, so four and four, plus the two other ends, I thought, no, 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 no. I'm just not even going, to, I'm not even going to think of trying that. Uh, no, I would have, <laughs> I probably would have lost my last marbles. Easily I would have lost my last marbles. So I am hoping to have those finished before I have to go to work on Monday morning. I'm not sure if I will manage to get them done by Monday, but I'm really hoping I can have them finished on mo by Monday. Then I can get back to working on my other whips until the, um, the first official round begins. But for now, I'm not working on pretty much much of anything else but the qualifying round socks. I did do a little bit of work on my two at a time toe up, <laughs> two at a time back to, back to the two at a time. These are my two at a time toe up sort of shorty socks. And these are done, the toe is done in bare yarn. And the body of the socks will be done in the leftover yarns from the leftover yarns from my Chickadee Fiber Arts Advent calendar that I opened this last December. And I had used the original 20 gram skeins to make all the squares for my Ariana cardigan. And I had roughly two two and a half grams of each of the colors left from that and I opted to make actually make two pair of socks with the leftovers actually this is the first one first pair they've been worn so they look a little bit stretched out but that was this one was done using colors 1 through 12 and this one will be using colors 13 through 24 so, I saw when I saw you last week, I was down here. I did a little bit, but the vast majority of my time was spent on the Hydra Scales. Hydra Scales? Yes, I got it right. The um, Hydra Scales qualifying round Sock Madness socks. So, once those are done, I'm going to be spending time on my mitered square blanket, or not blanket, my mitered square sweater, my jelly roll sweater, and those guys. So that's it for my knitting content this week. I will admit that probably for the next month to six weeks, a lot of my knitting content is going to be Sock Madness socks. Not much else, but Sock Madness socks. That is basically consumes me 
for a month or two <laughs> and I love it I absolutely love it so I will I probably will not have a lot of progress on a lot of different projects during sock madness but there will be socks to see and I was just noticing <laughs> look at my hands <laughs> I'm dying yarn. <laughs> I'm dying more yarn. Oh, and I, I forgot to tell you for the Hydra Scales, the yarn I'm using, I'm using a bear yarn. And this goes nicely with my shirt. I'm also using, this is one of the skeins of yarn I dyed up last week. I have three more skeins that are sitting in the kitchen they're just um, not caked up they're just done up into a hank and I will I'll show you those next week because they'll also have two or more more to show you by next week but this was one this was a skein of yarn it's a tonal kind of fuchsia pink kind of color it's just done with food color this was the, um, actually this one was done with McCormick's Neon food coloring. And it's a mix of the pink and purple. They gave it this kind of bright fuchsia color. Kind of somewhere between the pink and purple. I love, I love this color. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm currently dyeing red yarn. <laughs> Once that's done, it's it's in the pot and it's cooling. Once that's done, I'm going to do some kind of either orange or yellow or maybe orange first, then yellow next. I've done a brown, a mossy kind of mossy, kind of somewhere between a mossy lime green. Is, do you get mossy lime? It's It's kind of a mix between, somewhere in between. A mossy green and a lime green so I've got this kind of this light brown mossy lime green I've also got one that is in a bright green kind of leaning towards yeah it's just kind of like a bright granny Smith or um, a green apple like that kind of green I'm working on I've got a red one now I'm going to I probably will do an orange and I'll probably do a yellow as well so I'll, I'll probably get that. The red is cooking now. The I'll do the orange. I'll probably do both the orange and the um, yellow later today or tomorrow afternoon. I'll do one of them this afternoon. But those are all done with, those will all be done with food coloring. Just basic, nothing, nothing fancy, no professional grade, anything for this. Just food coloring in vinegar. Um, so it's nothing fancy. But... It's fun. It's messy. I hate wearing gloves. It'll wash off. By the time I've washed my hands a few more times today, shower in the morning, they'll be fine. They'll also have orange and yellow on them too. So <laughs> I had brown last week. <laughs> now I've got red this week. Stay tuned and see what color my hands are next week. <laughs> so <laughs> but anyway, so I have been dyeing yarn. I also if you remember last week, I was telling you I had bought two, I bought three skeins of yarn. Two of them had arrived. I showed you those, and I had one more skein of yarn that was on the way. And these were yarns I bought for myself for my birthday. The third one arrived on Tuesday. Isn't that pretty? So this is by Nomadic Yarns. And here is the yarn, the details about it. So this is, the name of it is The World Through Your Eyes. It's on the trusty sock base. It's a 50 gram skein of self-striping yarn. So I'm, I'm so happy when I can find dyers that make 50 gram 50 gram skeins of yarn. I think this is a six or five stripe. 
two, three, four. I think it's five, four or five stripes. Um, so 50 grams, 231 yards, 75 superwash merino, 25% nylon. So that was my third skein of yarn I bought for a treat for myself for my birthday. So that will get knit up in the relatively near future. I'm not sure if I, I think I will use a white toes and heels on this one. Maybe I'll use gray. I'm not sure. I'm just admiring. I'm just admiring it. But so that was my my last birthday present I got for myself. So so that's it for the knitting content. If you want to hang around for all the random life stuff, stick around. I'm gonna natter for a little while longer. But otherwise, if you're only here for the knitting and the yarn content, thanks for joining me. If you want to hear more of the rambly stuff, let's keep going. Alrighty, so last Sunday was my birthday. I had a wonderful day. An absolutely wonderful day. Got up in the morning. Um, I treated myself to breakfast out. Just like a breakfast burrito from the gas station just down <laughs> road from here but I love their breakfast burritos so I had that then after church we went out to Chinese buffet that was yummy as always then got home in the afternoon after lunch I settled into the recliner and I had myself a nice nap for about two hours it was really nice and then I just relaxed the rest of the afternoon and evening hubby and I watched a bit of TV so we didn't have anything for supper because we were both still full from we were seriously both still full from lunch so so it was a really nice day and i thank everyone that wished me a happy birthday on the podcast last week i really appreciate that thank you so much and for someone who gave me a little birthday present in my ko-fi account thank you i appreciate that so much really really appreciate that so otherwise this week work has gone well uh, busy we're one week left of classes before spring break so I'll have to get some grading caught up on before before spring break rolls around but I'll talk more about what we're what our plans are for spring break I'll natter about that when I see you guys next week but this past week, on Tuesday, I went in to see my regular doctor just for a regular checkup. And I'd had some blood work done earlier, and he had been noticing on my blood work that over the past couple years, yeah, the last two or three blood works that he had, do had done, had noticed that my, my red blood cell count is was above normal, and each time like I go on I see him every two weeks I have high blood pressure so I see him every two or every two months not two weeks I see him every two months or two months I don't think I've had enough tea today and it's all 2 30 I'm not drinking more tea at this time of day anywho I see him twice a year that's what I'm that's where the two is coming from so when I see him twice a year he's noticed that the red blood cell count is creeping up each time I each time I get the blood work done and also my hematocrit I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one right that number is also above normal and increasing it's still it's rising every time I go my hemoglobin is always high it's not above normal but it's right at the top of the range for what's normal for women but that's my, my hemoglobin has always been high. Always. So he gave me a referral to see a hematologist to see if there's anything to worry about. He doesn't think there is. He thinks if anything, I should probably, his advice is to find a way to donate blood more often. And because that way it's using the extra red blood cells. So I got a call, I, I saw my doctor on Tuesday, Thursday, I got a call from the hematology office. I'm going in to see them on March the 12th. So I will 
I'll sit and talk with the hematologist. I think they said the appointment will last an hour. So we'll have a lot of chatting time. So I'll see what she has to say about it and whether she wants more blood work done or what. But um, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just, he just wants a second opinion to make sure that it is, is not anything serious. He doesn't think it is. I don't think it is either, but we'll see the hematologist and see what, what she has to say in three weeks, two and a half weeks now, I guess. So then on Friday, I went to, both the hubby and I went in, we were due for our annual eyeball exam just to make sure, just to test our vision and stuff. So his, his, his prescription changed just a little bit on the, the one eye, so he needs new glasses. I had um, LASIK surgery seven or so years ago. So I used to have to wear glasses or contacts, but since the LASIK surgery, I don't. I do need, I do need cheater glasses for reading, but I just get those at the dollar store. So, which is now a dollar and 25 cent store. So um, I just get, the cheapo glasses there. So I went for the eye exams. Um, my eyes are perfectly fine. Everything's okay. There's no change in, I don't need a, the prescription's fine. My eyeballs are fine. But what she did notice was that I have the very early stages development of cataracts in both eyes. So she said that is something that it's very common to start up you usually see it in people in their 50s. You'll start to see the very beginnings of cataracts in most people at that age. So I'm like, okay, great, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> so I do have the beginnings of cataracts starting to, to develop, but it's probably something that will take a lot. They might, may never um, get worse. They may not get progressively more and more and more. But um, either way, if they do, it usually takes many, many, many years. They're slow growing, but there, there is the beginning of that in both eyes. So just a typical age thing. My birthday was on this past Sunday. I'm falling apart, guys. <laughs> I, am, I am falling apart. <laughs> Oh well, but anyway, that's that's life, I guess. So what else? So those are my medical woes. I'm glad I'd have no other medical appointments of any sort because I don't think I'd want to get any other kind of news from any other doctor. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so I think this is a little bit shorter episode today. Um, I will have my hydroscale socks done to show you the finished socks next week, uh, next Saturday, because the, the deadline to have those completed is Friday morning by 6, 6.20 in the morning or thereabouts, I forget the exact time. But they have to be done and approved before I go to bed Thursday night at the absolute latest. So they will be done. I'm hoping they're done tomorrow, at the end of the day tomorrow, but we shall see. And what else? I think that's it. Like I said, a little bit shorter episode. When Sock Madness is in full season, I don't get as much work done on every, everything else gets neglected while I knit Sock Madness socks. And I love it. I absolutely love Sock Madness. So, I think that's all. I've spent a couple minutes just telling you that's all I had to say and I keep talking. <laughs> oh, sorry, not sorry. Anyway, I shall let you go and I will see you guys again in a week. Bye now.